In this walkthrough, we're going to look at some classic guitar tones and how to get them. The classic Fender amp sound has peppered classic pop and rock tracks for over 50 years. Bright and twangy with a touch of amp drive and some spring reverb. Marshall defined the rock sound of the 1980s with their JMP and then JCM 800 guitar amps. Here we're using Softube's excellent JMP 2203 emulation for a crunchy, not fuzzy sound that chimes with harmonics. We have the preamp set to low, about one, and master gain set high at eight. with presence and treble set to enhance the ringing. Bass and middle, then add the desired weight and body. Modern rock and metal think Foo Fighters, uses a distinctive overdriven guitar sound with a scooped mid-range. Amplitude 4's Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier emulates the amp often used for this. Select channel 3 with the modern setting activated and use a moderate gain about 1 o'clock. For bite, wind up the treble and presence, then reduce the mid and boost the bass for that scooped tone. For a clean, chorus-infused guitar sound like the Police or the Smiths, you need the Roland JC120 amp, and Amplitude 4's Jazz Amp 120 is a good emulation. Set the distortion close to minimum, but not off, and tailor the tone controls to taste, using the Bright option if required. Select the chorus in the effects section and finish off with a touch of reverb. Classic surf guitar, Dick Dale for example, is easily achieved with an emulation of a 1960s Fender amp. Here we're using Amplitude 4's Vibro Verb. Set the preamp, volume control, for moderate drive, adjusting tone controls for a bright thin sound. Set the vibrato to slow, and reverb level almost at maximum. Finally, compress the whole sound. Here we're using a rack compressor. To achieve more fuzzy or messy distortion, Nirvana for example, 
The best option is to use a pedal before the amp, with the amp set quite clean. Here, we're using Overloud TH3, choosing from non-endorsed emulations of the Proco Rat, Cat, the Electro Harmonix Big Muff, Fat Muff, and Boss DS1, Dist1. Plus a simple diode based distortion, Diode 69. The Wawa pedal is an adjustable filter with resonant peak. For your classic rhythmic whacker whacker effect, as in the Shaft theme tune, rock the pedal forward and back in time with the track. For a lyrical effect on lead lines, rock it forward and back quickly on the attack of each note. Here we're using TH3's Cry Maybe pedal, using DAW automation for the moves. For a tight, funky Nile Rodgers sound, pedals are often all you need. Here, our Overloud TH3 pedal chain starts with a compressor with high sustain and short release. Next, we enhance the body and picking with EQ boosts at 400Hz and 3.2kHz. Slow modulation, both chorus and phaser, is next. And finally, some slapback delay set to around 100 milliseconds. Combining pedal and rack effects with virtual amp tones creates impressive stadium ready effects a la U2's The Edge. One popular technique uses tempo sync delay to build rhythmic parts from simple patterns. Here our rack delay is positioned before the amp, set to a dotted eighth with minimum regeneration but a high delay level. And we've added delay modulation to make things even more interesting. <laughs> 